This is a podcast of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Today we speak with Dr. Mona Buffadell about her research on airways disease. Hi Mona. Hi. So tell us a bit about your research on airways disease. So I mainly research airways disease which comprises of asthma and mm -hmm. chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD as it's otherwise known. It's a very common condition, it affects mm -hmm. lots of people and what I'm trying to understand is how we can improve on our understanding of what causes the two different diseases, the similarities between patients and how they respond to different treatments. We know that the genetic makeup is different, mm -hmm. we know that the inflammation is different, we know that their responses to treatment are different and so what I'd like to do is try and investigate that a little bit more to understand it better. Can you give us an example? Yeah, for example, at COPD, um, part of the disease process is exacerbations or lung attacks. Mm -hmm. They impact on patients quite a lot mm -hmm. and associated with significant symptoms. Um, when we give treatments, such as antibiotics and steroids, not everyone responds to treatment. And I found that if we um, measure a blood test, a simple blood test, we can identify who will respond to steroids and who won't. And hopefully this will streamline the way we treat our patients by giving mm -hmm. the patient the right treatment at the right time, but also try and understand why this particular group, based on the blood test, um, have a difference in their responses and in terms of their inflammation. So we're narrowing down mm. the disease process, hopefully, by looking at it a bit more closely. How has your research actually changed the treatment and the understanding of these diseases? So it's changed our understanding by saying that COPD is not a, a, the same disease in everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a, a, a one-size-fits-all approach, doesn't work. It's tried to hone in on individual patterns of inflammation and responses. Um, and what's really exciting is that other groups um, nationally and internationally have found the same type of uh, inflammation parameters. Mm -hmm. So the work is being validated by different groups and the community is understanding the disease a little bit more. We're at the forefront because we've kind of understood it a bit better a bit earlier on. Hmm. What are the most important lines of research that have emerged then in this area over the last five to ten years? In terms of airways disease, asthma and COPD for example, um, we've been giving bronchodilators in terms of mm. inhalers to treat our patients, but more recently um, we've managed to have monoclonal antibodies, so biological treatment to treat um, asthma and studies are being performed in COPD. Um, only last week a certain monoclonal antibody was approved um, and hopefully will be a new treatment for uh, asthma um, within the last 15-20 years. So that's really an exciting process and part to be part of. Why is your line of research important? Why should we pay it? Why should we fund it? Yeah, I think COPD is really important. It affects probably up to 10% of the UK adult population, so it's very common. Asthma affects 5 million people of all age, um, all age ranges. COPD costs the NHS £1 billion per year mm. um, and each time people have exacerbations they feel worse and they have worsened symptoms. So it's common and it affects a lot of people in lots of different ways and if we can even impact on that I think that will help. So that's why we should definitely fund COPD. How does your work fit more largely within translational medicine in the department? Well, in the work that I do is really trying to look at how the patient is, understanding what's happening to our patients, improving the treatment of our patients, so applied research, and then go back into the laboratory and understanding why the disease patterns exist, what the mechanisms and the cellular responses are. So I think it fits the line of research here within NDM on a translational basis. It's also a unique opportunity to be able to engage with other um, scientists and researchers who are active in understanding cellular responses, immune responses, uh, microbial responses. So I think we're in a really exciting part of, of time, really. Thank you, Anna. That sounds very interesting. Thank you.